Welcome to the Warframe Open Encyclopedia, where today we're checking out the Korofel. You get all the bits and bobs you need to build the Korofel from the new Tiana Pass Mirror Defense mission that was added to Mars with Citrine's last wish. You're also gonna get two different types of crystals in there, which you can use as sort of pity currency to buy all the Korofel parts from Otak in the Necralisk. The Korofel is a mastery rank 8 heavy side that does primarily impact damage with 26% crit chance and above average 2.4 times crit multiplier and okay 14% status chance. It also comes in with solid enough base attack speed of 1 and a range of 2.6, which is not bad either. Now the heavy attack on the Korofel is quite a bit different to most other heavy attacks as it fires out a projectile that does pure heat damage with quite a bit of range, the fall off on it starts at 15 meters and ends at 30. The projectile is quite large and you can chain the heavy attacks back to back if you want to, so you can kind of use it like a gun blade. Now, while you can build this weapon for either just heavy attacks or just a light attacks, the build I like the most is actually a hybrid between the two. So we run Focus Energy and Virulent Scourge for Corrosive, a bit of status and some heavy attack efficiency as well as Volcanic Edge for heat and status. We follow that up with Berserker Fury for a bunch of attack speed and Reflex Coil to cap our heavy attack efficiency at 90%. And then we top it all off with Amaga Morgan Chatter for crit damage and heavy attack wind up speed, Blood Rush to scale our crit chance and Primed Pressure Point for damage. The idea behind this build is to allow you to heavy attack at 12 times combo for absolutely massive damage on your heavy attacks. This is made possible thanks to us capping our heavy attack efficiency, so a heavy attack drains you less than 20 hits out of our combo. I feel this utilizes the weapon better than either a light or a heavy attack build on their own, but if you don't like these sort of hybrid builds and you would rather go full light or full heavy, you can do that too. But I would highly recommend you try out this hybrid style build, especially if you have a Warframe set up for specifically melee stuff, so you have Arcane Strike, Warcry, maybe even Gladiator mods, that kind of stuff. Because, and this is coming from someone that absolutely adores melee combat in this game, this is one of the most fun melee weapons in the game if you use this build. It's fast and whenever you turn around and you bloof away a bunch of enemies with a heavy attack, it just feels nice. It might not have the best damage, I mean it can't stand up to something like the Pennant with a heavy attack build or even the Cronin Prime with a light attack build, but the damage is more than enough to do everything in the game including Steel Path and it's just so much damn fun. Now the obvious downside with this weapon is of course the damage distribution, doing primarily impact damage on a melee weapon is not great. It basically just helps you to bash through corpus shields and that's pretty much it. Also the status chance is kind of on the lower end of things as well, 14% is not great which is one of the reasons why I did not want to go for a light attack build where you would focus around Viro and then you would get damage from the force slash procs from the stuns. So all in all, I would absolutely recommend you give the Korufel a swing, go pick it up from the new Crystal Defense, it's just really fun and the damage, while not the best, is more than good enough. And as always guys, I thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye.